will we will be free for when the rising tide has turned in every London quarter Parliament comes crashing down with Boris rules of order Okay, we are on to Monday, January 6th, the day after the day, the day before. For whatever this is called. For whatever this is called. The Which we'll Prime know in knows. a while. We'll figure it out. Call the question, bitches. Sorry, <laughs> I can't help myself. For Roberts, the, for the Roberts rules day by day. <laughs> Our da no, daily devotional. Daily devotional. If oh. you're, daily devotional if you're if you're so inclined. Okay. At this point in the day, we are. What is it now? Two to one. You. Well, yeah. all I know is you got one wrong and I haven't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're also the one trying it for the certification. Sure. <laughs> I'm already certifiable. Well, we're both already certifiable. <laughs> okay. So this one you should probably be able to get. Good. Um, I'm so competitive. It's not. I might fun. not get this one. But if I was if I was being asked it, subsidiary privileged and incidental motions are. Oh God, I might not get this. That always confuses the fuck out of me. Okay. A, ranking motions. B, privileged motions. C, secondary motions. Or D, pending motions. Okay, my first guess, which I'm not giving you as my answer, because I want to go through it by process of elimination, is secondary motions. Um, so read the whole thing again with the, the first part and then go slowly through the ABCD. Okay. Subsidiary, privileged, and incidental motions are A, ranking motions, Okay. B, privileged motions, C, secondary motions, D, pending motions. Okay. It's not B or D. C, I now think it's not it. I think it's A. Nope. It it's is C. C. It is C. Is it really? They're uh -huh. all secondary. You want to know why I didn't think they were? Because a privileged motion I thought could be a main motion. And that way it wouldn't be a secondary. Okay, it's not a ranking motion for obvious reason. What the hell is a ranking motion it in the means first it, place? <laughs> oh, that, that would, it, well, it falls, the way I understood it would be that it falls within a certain ranking yeah. that... Well, pending motion doesn't make any sense because no, that's dumb. any motion, once it's seconded, is pending. So my first instinct was right. And, pri and, and sex subsidiary privilege and incidentals are not all privileged because subsidiary and incidentals are not privileged right. in the first place. It was privilege that threw me off. Excuse I me. knew that incidental and that subsidiary were secondary motions. All right. So the reference point to this is page 59, lines 4 through 6. Okay, let's take a look. Which page did you say? 59. Well, now we're even. I got one wrong. <laughs> even though my first, I should have went my first instinct. But I want to learn something here. I actually was, actually was going to get with this that secondary myself. But that, but it, it, the privileged one is what threw me off. Because can't a privileged motion be, like isn't a motion to adjourn a privileged motion? Oh, isn't that what caused all the controversy in California? <laughs> But it's a privileged motion, isn't it? Under most circumstances, yes. So, but, and that's not secondary, is it? Okay. Well, here it says in the little chart, secondary motions. Yeah, this is page, what did I say? Na okay, nature of secondary motions. Main motions, original main and incidental main motions, subsidiary privileged incidental motions are secondary, and motions that bring a question before the assembly are lower than that. Okay, I'm going to appeal my um, wrong answer, <laughs> because they are ranked. It gives a rank right there. Yeah. Order of precedence of motions. And it gives an order of precedence. So they are ranked motions. But well, they're saying ranking motions. But hang on. <laughs> Does there, is, there, is there even such a thing? That's the first question. Um, hitting the index on that one. Is I think that I, I call... Rank of motions see precedence of motions. And that's right here. <laughs> so I think I'm right. I think both of those answers are right. Uh, yeah, that one you can take up with the Bosch boys. But what do you think? Do you really well, think ranking would be wrong? I don't know what a ranking motion is, personally. But secondary, we know is correct. Privilege doesn't make it. You know, okay. B and D don't make any sense. We're to get through that. Those are out. Secondary, we know is correct because we got it right in front of us. <laughs> but I think, but it's in the section dealing with ranking emotions. I'm, I'm not conceding on that one. I call foul on that ball. <laughs> if you were a teacher, would you give it to me? I've got a good argument. Come I on. Would say if it was ranked motions, yes, I would. But ranking motions. Oh, forget, no. Yeah. I'm, I'm appealing now to the assembly. 
you'll let me know whether you'd give it to me. You better. I'm we'll gonna... throw that one out for the people to yeah, decide. Yeah, but... you better. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So that's interesting. So, but why? Are, so the nature of secondary emotion. So that's what because I got confused with privilege. Yeah, look at the italic section right there. Yeah. Secondary emotions may be seen as related to the following fundamental principle of parliamentary law. Only one question can be considered at a time. Once a motion is before the assembly, it must be adopted or rejected by a vote, or the assembly must take action disposing of the question in some other way before any other business. But see, except certain matters called privileged motions can be introduced. I'm still confused. Yes, yeah, that, that's the problem. Is that you know we have a privileged motion, which is a secondary motion, but then they're saying certain matters called privileged questions can are primary. Right. right. This is one of the things that always threw me off in here. I think that question is very. Poor. And then if you look at page sixty-one, line four. This is interesting. Sixty-one, line four. Certain secondary motions can also take precedence over others, so that it's possible for more than one secondary motion pending at, at a given at a time, together with the main. Well, motion. that makes sense. Yeah. Because like a motion to amend. But look at the next section: order of precedence of motion and rank. So you might have an argument here. I think that's a really just shitty question. Yeah, I tend to. I, I'm, begin, I'm beginning to agree with that. So yeah, listen, I'll concede when you get a shitty question, <laughs> but I'm still. I still don't understand. I don't understand why privileged is there. I understand subsidiary and incidental, but I don't understand why privilege would be considered. If all privileged motions would be considered a. Oh, wait. No? Privileged motions. Okay, I'm just looking at the table of contents all of a Yeah, because I'm confused. They consider a privileged motion. Quarters of the day, raise a question of privilege, recess, adjourn, and fix time which to adjourn. But why would adjourn be a secondary motion? It doesn't secondary mean it's like it can only exist because of another motion? You, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's a child Two, of it? 233. Okay. May, the motion to adjourn may be privileged or main motion, depending on the number of conditions. Yeah, I know it can be different. The privileged motion to adjourn, I'm still on page 233 here, Gosh. is a motion to close the meeting immediately, may a condition where some other provision or another meeting exists, and where no time of adjourning the present meeting has been set. Regardless of case, regardless of whether business is pending, the majority should not be forced to continue such substantial longer desires even if no business is pending. A decision as to whether to close the meeting should not be allowed to consume time. Well, you know what I'm going to do on this, and we'll come back to it. Yeah. I'm going to go consult the priesthood um, over at the Roberts Forum, yeah. where the authors of this uh, book uh, deign to um, give audience to the parishioners. And I'm going to ask them why... Oh, here we go. 234. Right? Oh. <laughs> Next page. This was the California case right here, as I highlighted at the time. A motion to adjourn is always a privileged motion except in the following cases. When it's qualified. Right. When a time for adjourning is already established. Right. When the effect of the motion to adjourn if adopted would dissolve the assembly, no provision of other meeting. Ah, uh, so the, the last meeting, meeting of the convention. convention. So it's not privileged when it's the last meeting of the convention. Right, last session. And then further down on line 27, I believe, here. Any motion to adjourn at all is out of order while business is pending under either conditions two or three. Interesting. Which means that if business is pending and it would be the last session of the convention, you just can't adjourn in the middle of the, in the middle of stuff. I think most people misunderstand that. Uh-huh. I think they got it wrong in California too. Um, I think actually Nick sometimes gets that wrong. Yeah. But I could be wrong, because I'm, I'm going by weird memory. But I still do not understand why a privileged motion is always considered a secondary motion. I'm not sure either. But that's, uh, that's, I'm going to consult the priesthood yeah. and ask them. And okay. That's I'll, a tricky one. <laughs> we'll report back yeah. on that. That so, was a tricky one. Yeah, well, that question right now we have determined is shitty. <laughs> so we call the question bitches on that one. Um, it is shitty, right? Rule it shitty. It is ruled shitty. We're adjourned.
<laughs> there we go. My turn. My turn, hun. I'm having fun with this. All right. Fever! Let's hear the opposition side. Like a stubborn donkey's bray, all opposed. You say nay, opposed! Opposed! The motion carries anyway. 